Today we're going to uh, have our last video lecture and it is on polar and nonpolar terms which we can use for a bond or which we can use to describe a molecule. A molecule are considered to be a nonmetal bonded to a nonmetal and they are bonded with covalent bonds. So these dashes represent a covalent bond. And a covalent bond is the sharing of electrons. Covalent bonds can be polar or nonpolar. A polar bond has different atoms bonded and a nonpolar bond has the same atoms bonded. The more electronegativity difference, which is table S, the more polar the bond. So if we were to look up, which you should, HCl, the difference equals 1.1. And if we looked up HBr, the difference equals 0.9. So the HCl bar bond is more polar. So we need to draw a few and tell me are these a polar or non-polar bond. So the first one is methane. And since those are different atoms, this would be a polar bond. The next one is carbon dioxide. And both bonds, since they are different atoms, would be polar. A double bonded polar bond. Nitrogen, group 15, five valence electrons. Has to form three bonds. Since it's the same atom, this would be considered nonpolar. CL, CL, group 17, has 7, shares 1, forms a single bond. Since they are the same atom, this would be considered nonpolar, a nonpolar bond. Ammonia, and H3, since the N and the H are different, 
this would be a polar bond. And if we were to draw ethane, eth means two carbons, ane, double the number of carbons and add two to get the number of H's. Here we just have to be careful. There's two different bonds. There is a C C bond, which would be nonpolar, and a CH bond, which would be, <clears throat> excuse me, polar. So that is the bonding, but a molecule. can also be polar or nonpolar. So it's the same words. In this case, a polar bond is, or a polar molecule is asymmetrical. Whereas a nonpolar molecule has symmetry. So it's symmetrical. What we generally do is we draw crosshairs and check for symmetry. So if we draw the crosshairs through the carbon, it's the same side to side, it's the same top to bottom. So this is a non polar molecule. If we were to draw ammonia, we have symmetry side to side, but we don't have symmetry top to bottom, so this would be a polar molecule. So we're going to finish up with six or seven molecules and I want to know the type of bond and the type of molecule. So I'm going to pause the video for a second, draw the molecules and then we can start back up. So at this point, go ahead and draw the seven molecules. Then you can pause the video again and go ahead and tell me the type of bond. Be careful, some of them have more than one bond. And tell me the type of molecule. So pause the video after you draw this and go ahead and label. And here are the answers. So if you have any questions, you can ask me in class. Um, that concludes uh, the last video lecture of the year. Um, have a great rest of the weekend, and we will see you Monday in class. Bye.